Hi everyone, it's Alice here again and today we're going to be doing rainbow volcanoes in the garden. And we're going to be doing this in a really simple way and you just need a few things. So you need a bottle of vinegar. So I've got some distilled malt vinegar here. You need some bicarbonate of soda. You need a little bit of water. Uh, so you only need um, a couple of teaspoons of water and you need a variety of food colouring. And as well as that, you need something to um, make your volcanoes in. So I've got some tiny jars here, but you could also use um, some mugs. Um, you could use some glasses, some small bowls, some ramekins, and you'll need a couple of teaspoons as well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take our, take our glass jar and put a few drops of food colouring in it. So if I, for example, take um, the red food colouring, We can now start the experiment. Now I'd recommend you go to a patch of grass if you've got a garden. If you haven't, make sure you've got a plate on your table. So put the jars on a plate, um, go outside to a piece of pavement or paving slab, or um, take some newspaper just because there might be quite a bit of explosion going on here and we don't want to ruin any surfaces. So um, I'm gonna go over to the garden now and I'll see you there in a second. So what I've done to make things easier, to make sure we can see how much vinegar we're putting into each jar, is I've tipped my vinegar into um, a jug. So I'm going to film what happens now and I hope you enjoy this one. We're just going to give a quick scientific explanation as to what happened and why we had such exploding volcanoes. So back to our pH scale, we were reacting an acid, so our vinegar here at pH 2, with an alkali. So bicarbonate of soda is around pH 9 to pH 10. And this is our acidic end of the pH scale, so here we'd have things like vinegar, lemon juice and tomatoes. And then at the other end we've got our alkaline solution, so soap at pH 12 and drain cleaner at pH 14. And when we react an acid, so our vinegar, with our alkaline, we get the production of carbon dioxide, which are the bubbles that you could see um, flowing out of your jars. We have vinegar which is around pH 2, and it's got the chemical formula of acetic acid, so CH3COOH. And then we have bicarbonate of soda, which is an alkaline solution, pH 8 to 9, NaHCO3, so sodium hydrogen carbonate. And when we react these together, so when we react our vinegar, so our acetic acid, with our bicarbonate of soda, which is the sodium hydrogen carbonate, we get one reaction happening first. And that is the production of sodium acetate and carbonic acid. And if you look, we have had the sodium ion from the bicarbonate of soda transferring onto the acetic acid. So the acetic acid has lost one hydrogen ion and it's um, now bonded to the sodium, so we've got sodium acetate. So because we now don't have a sodium ion on our um, bicarbonate of soda, we've ended up with carbonic acid. So we've got an additional hydrogen ion here from the vinegar, and we still have the end of our bicarbonate of soda molecule. So we've still got the, carbon the carbonate ion. So if you look at our whole reaction, we've reacted um, bicarbonate of soda with vinegar, we've got sodium acetate and carbonic acid. So to see now why we had um, 
carbon dioxide formed, our carbonic acid is really unstable and it reacts straight away. It decomposes to form carbon dioxide, where that's where your bubbles came from, and water. And we still then have our sodium acetate being formed. So we've reacted together the vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda. We got the production of a salt, which was the sodium acetate. And then we had the production of the carbon dioxide in a decomposition reaction. And that's how you got all of your bubbles. So I hope you enjoyed today. Um, please do let us know um, how you got on. Send us in your photos. Um, we'd love to see all of your rainbows. And um, stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you want to get notifications of when we're going to upload new videos. Bye.